Hello friends, today we are going to study about algebraic identities. I don't know why they had made this identity so tougher by uh, giving activities related to these identities. And that activities are so difficult that when uh, we are explaining that activity, I instead of that directly I say you use this and you have to keep in mind only. So one by one, first I will tell you that how we are doing, then I will give you the identity. Look here, if I am having two polynomials, suppose a plus b and if I want to multiply this polynomial with the same polynomial, how we were multiplying? First I will multiply a with these two terms and then I will multiply b with these two terms. So uh, what I will get? a into a, a square a into b gives you a b then b into a again a b then b into b plus b square so these two are like terms so can i write a square plus 2ab plus b square and here a plus b into a plus b so can i write a plus b whole square so this is our identity number one if I am multiplying a polynomial with the same polynomial and plus sign is there directly I have to write a square plus 2ab plus instead of multiplying directly we can put this so it actually it is shortcut this all are shortcut that help us to solve directly this is your ide algebraic identity in number one then two instead of plus if minus is there if you are multiplying a minus b into a minus b what will happen here instead of plus both the time you will get minus a b minus a b here you will get plus only so the direct short form for a minus b all square will be a square minus 2 a b plus b square this is your identity number two if you are now the third identity means here you are multiplying two numbers one time it was in both this time one time plus plus was there one time minus minus was there now one time plus and here one time minus is there then what will happen a square will remain that only but here one time plus will come one time minus will come so both will get cancelled and here minus b square will come so these two will be cancelled and your direct answer a minus b into a plus b gives you a square minus b square so this is actually a shortcut that helps to solve some direct identity number four x plus a into x plus b here they had done little bit changes means your first number in both the polynomials first term in both the polynomials are same and the second terms in both the polynomials are different at that time again we have to change look here this is very important generally this is this one is difficult for the students and they are making mistakes here so first term of the polynomials are same and the second terms of polynomials are different so what we have to do we have to do square of first term then plus a plus b means addition of these two multiply with first term into x and then multiplication of the second terms both the equation a into b so this is your fourth identity these four are so important that it, it, it is coming in class 7 class 8 class 9 but in class 9 you are getting more identity so actually these are the base and these are more important from this they had started this series and they are going on and going on and they had find many other shortcuts you know, and they called it identities look here the fifth shortcut a plus b plus c whole square here they had given us three terms actually two terms were there before this now we are having three terms so what we have to do a plus b plus c into a plus b plus c if you will multiply then you will get six answers so directly they had given us in short method 
whenever three terms are there and whole square is there directly we have to do square of a square plus b square plus c square first three terms then we have to multiply 2 a b 2 into first term into second term plus 2 into b into c second term into third term into 2 and 2 into c into a means 2 into third term into first term so this is our fifth identity now identity number six now here we were doing squares now we have to do cube a plus b whole cube then the same thing a plus b into a plus b into a plus b three times we have to multiply that is very difficult so directly they had given us a shortcut method or short that method we the, which we have to use what do you have to do directly a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube means first we have to do cube of first term then 3 multiply with square of first term and into second term then 3 multiply with first term and square of second term one time square of first term one time square of second term and then cube of last term. seventh identity that is a minus b whole cube gives you a cube positive then negative then the same thing but now it it is positive and then again negative it is so positive negative positive negative it is so simple you can directly keep into your mind now eighth identity this is a little bit different what they had done they had find out cube of first second and third terms three terms are there x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz if you are going to multiply this uh, this is the reverse order also you can say so what we have to multiply to get this we have to multiply x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx so if you will multiply this x with all the number then y with all the number then z will all the number then at that time you will get this answer one practical example is also there in your textbook you have to solve that also and ninth and tenth identity which they had not given us these are also the shortcut bit but these are reverse shortcut though so they are directly not told that that they are identities so I am going to explain you that x cube plus y cube now here separate cubes are given of both the terms at that time what we have to do just we have to write x plus y multiply with x square minus x y plus y square these are also the shortcut if you if you multiply x with all the number then y with all the number and then you will add then only these two numbers will remain if we, they had given us x cube minus y cube then x minus y into bracket x square plus x y plus y square so these are the three basic algebraic identity and these are coming in class 7, 8, 9 and these are very important after this this all they had find to make our calculation so simple and so short thank you so much for watching my this video on algebraic identities if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much